Hey folks, welcome back. Great to see you again. Uh, my name is Pastor Jay Jackson. I have the honor here of being the pastor at Trinity Lutheran Church. You know, at Trinity, we also have a school here. We have about 200 and so, uh, 220, 230 great kids from K to 8 that get to celebrate uh, with us and learn about Jesus Christ every, uh, every day. And so what we are going to do this week is allow one of our teachers that we uh, truly love, uh, he's a member of our congregation as well, just overall great, fantastic guy. He's going to give us a message today. The message today is about peace. Uh, we're really, really looking forward to hearing Mr. David Merritt give our message. I know the kids are looking forward to this because uh, he's one of, their, one of their favorite teachers over there. But uh, today is about peace. Uh, open your Bibles if you're ready to go. We're going to begin. It'll be Isaiah 9 is what we'll be doing. So find Isaiah as part of that. And really, we're, we're just looking forward to, to hearing about peace. Uh, but the last thing we'll, we'll do before we pray is just let you know what's happening on Christmas Day. Uh, you'll notice there's been four candles now lit. We've done four weeks. The final candle is the Christmas candle. We're saving that for Christmas Day. Uh, we'd encourage you and invite you to be a part of that service as well. Again, short, quick little service. Uh, it'll be done for Christmas Day. It'll be available probably by Christmas Eve. But uh, we'd encourage you during the season, season with so much chaos, to bring faith back into your home, to remember that this is why we are celebrating Christmas, is the, that Jesus Christ came and was born. And so before the presents, after the presents, at some time on Christmas Day, we'd encourage you to take a moment and worship. Worship Jesus Christ who came for us. So that's a quick little plug for that, but uh, we'll have that available for you, and that'll be our final Advent at Home uh, series. So thank you again for being a part of our, our worship these last few weeks. We're going to open in prayer and enjoy the worship service. All right. We bow our heads. Gracious God, thank you for the peace that passes all understanding. Thank you for the Prince of Peace who you send to us. We need that peace in our life right now with things so chaotic, so a part of of everything that's going on that uh, is just not the way we would like it to be. We ask for your blessing upon us. We ask for your peace to come and join us as well. So as we begin to worship you, we give you thanks and praise, and we do it all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Enjoy worship, guys.
A reading from Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as the day of the Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, a bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be dis destined for burning will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and the peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord mighty will accomplish this. The fourth candle we light is the last new one. The candle symbolizes peace and is also called the angel's candle. It marks the final week of prayer and preparation as we wait for the birth of our Savior. We live on the brink every day. We stand on the threshold between this world and the next. We live and move between the ordinary and the divine, between the mundane and the mystery. Too often we forget to look up and see the angels in our living room. We forget that the love we give and live is a sign of eternity. God is with us right now. We forget that company is coming. Luke tells us that God's favor came to a God and ordinary go. It might have been you or your daughter. It might have been the girl down the street or your grandchild. But the messenger of God came and greeted her and said, the Lord is with you. What a gift and a promise. Emmanuel, God is with us. We light these candles with peace in our hearts for the promise of proximity the nearest of God. Even when we forget to listen, to lean into that presence, God is as close as our own breath. This in a confused and confusing world is a peace that passes all understanding it is the peace that knows that company is coming. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good evening and welcome to Advent Week 4. My name is Dave Merritt and I'm representing Trinity Lutheran Christian School. I teach Christian Ed for 6th graders along with middle school PE and 8th grade health. My subject for our devotion this evening is on peace. And the verse I chose was Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And peace to me right now is being at home. I'm very comfortable with my wife, Kara, and my daughter, Penny. I'm relaxed right now in my pajamas. I'm reading a good book, Ready Player Two by Ernest Cline. Excellent. And of course, my cup of coffee. All is right, 
all is well. But more often than not, 2020 has not been peaceful. The world has had numerous struggles and issues this year. Here are a couple. The stock market had its worst one-day drop in history this past March. The constant struggle with racism and bigotry continued with many lives lost. Sports and pop culture icons like Kobe Bryant, Chadwick Boseman, and Eddie Van Halen passed away suddenly. Political unrest by both parties in an election year resulting in hatred and negativity the United States of America hasn't seen in a very long time. The global pandemic known as COVID-19 caused death, anxiety, loss of jobs, and overall fear, fear in all of us. And last but not least, another losing season by the Baltimore Orioles. Simply put, we need to focus on peace. And that peace is the peace our Lord and Savior can give us. The peace that passes all understanding and guards our hearts and minds through him. Years and generations ago, the world wasn't so different. There was sin and struggle all around. Murder, adultery, unrest were in society. Rulers were dictators that craved power and did not care for their people. The people needed peace. They needed a true savior. That's when God decided it was the right time. The time to come to earth in human form and provide us with the ultimate peace and a true savior for all of us. One of my favorite hymns to sing during Christmas time is Silent Night. And right now I'm just going to dissect that and give you my thoughts on the first verse. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Imagine being a shepherd in that situation, seeing the angel, whoo, or a wise man following the bright star. They knew that the world was now different and was about to change. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild. I think about holding my daughter Penny for the first time and being at perfect peace, looking into her eyes. Imagine Mary looking into her child's eyes. Not only is she holding her firstborn, but she just conceived the Savior who would defeat sin, death, and the power of the devil. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. When I hear and sing that last part of verse 1, I see Mary looking at Jesus as he is sleeping and feeling totally calm and at peace. I also think it's a message from God to all of us. He's saying, hey guys, I've got this. I love you all. You can be at peace knowing that I will take care of all the problems of this world. And knowing that makes me feel pretty good. So during this Advent season and soon to be Christmas season, let's truly give thanks. Let's give thanks to God for the gifts he has given us. And remember the peace that passes all understanding is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi, it's craft time for week number four, December 23rd, and this week we're going to make something fun. It's just going to be a, a big old star made out of yarn and cardboard. So what you're going to need is uh, some really colorful yarn. I just picked this up um, at the craft store. They have thousands of different colors. You can use all the same color if you want. Um, this one has different colors throughout it, so when you, <clears throat> when you wrap it around, it'll, it makes it real colorful. Um, but there's different shades and different uh, patterns, so choose the one that you like. Uh, you will need some heavy cardboard. Uh, I just used the backing from a notebook and cut it out of that, and that worked fine. You'll need a pencil and a glue gun and a star shape to trace. Um, I have to be honest and tell you, I did this in a Word document and just 
printed, made a star um, using the computer program, printed it out, cut it out, and then I traced it onto my cardboard. Okay, so cut your um, your star out. You could also use cookie cutters as a star shape, <clears throat> and you can make your star whatever size you want. Uh, my star is about six by six, um, point to point. Okay, so then you're going to take your star and you are going to take yarn. Um, I decided that I wanted to do, uh, the original instruction said to do the center first, but I liked it better when I did the points first. So I took my glue gun and I put glue all over this point here. I started right here and I wrapped from the inside out till I got to the point and I made sure that I put some extra glue right there on the point to make sure it didn't unravel. Then I went to the next one and I did the same thing. Bunch of glue, sorry, bunch of glue, and then just keep wrapping. So you do all five points. Then you're gonna take your, um, your yarn again and you're gonna start wrapping your center. Now, how you wrap and um, you know how, how many times you go and how thick you make it, that's all up to you. Um, I did use a, more yarn than I thought I was gonna use but I still have a lot left. So you can do multiple stars, of course, with one skein of yarn. Um, I just kind of went like this, and then I turned it, and I went like that, and I turned it again, and um, just kind of went randomly, and it came out like this, so you can do that. Mine's pretty thick. It's probably almost an inch thick by the time everything got on there. And then, so that is your star. And you can put that on your table. You can use that as part of your centerpiece. You can uh, put a hook through it and hang it on your tree. All right, have fun.
Thank you for joining us for this Advent service. And now let us close in prayer. Dear Lord, when we think of peace, we think of you. We know that you are the source of all peace and calmness. And we ask you, Lord, to just give us the peace and calmness each of us needs to face each day with confidence that we can take each step moving forward and be assured that everything will be fine because we know that you are with us and will guide us through each day. Gracious Lord, we truly appreciate the peace that you give each and every one of us as we go forward into this season. And it's in your most precious name we pray. Amen.